the one thing from stopping you being profitable. The reason I believe a lot of traders fail, and the reason why I believe you might be failing, is because, well not failing, but not making as much money as you possibly could, is because you care about a multiple... It's, it's not just caring about the trades. Um, there's more to it than that. It's just you care, full stop. Um, and then I've got a few of them. So you care about other traders' opinions. So, I mean, we'll get into that later on. Um, you care about how the trade plans out, basically if it wins or loses. You care about how much money you're going to make this month, whether that's making, I don't know, 100 pips or something, or um, 100 pounds, or... 100%. Um, trying to hide some of it. Um, so that's the reason that I believe it's hard. Uh, you take away the caring and you're left with no emotion, uh, no emotional trading again. So I really do believe if you get rid of that caring aspect, all of the emotional trading that you're having will disappear. And if you can get rid of the emotional trading, it really is kind of, you know, there's, there's that, that emotional trading leads on to so many problems, right? Over trading, ruining up your risk management, taking trades that you shouldn't, closing trades that you shouldn't. Um, it, it's literally like the foundation for bad trading. So if you can go past the emotional trading side, and go a layer deeper to the fact that you actually care about the outcome and that is the thing that's going to help you to to essentially get rid of the emotions and get rid of all those other problems because everyone everyone knows what they should be doing right everyone knows that they should be um risking one two percent on a trade or something maximum everyone knows that you should be um following your trading plan but when the emotion kicks in all of that goes out the window so it's not the fact that people don't know what they're doing and it's not the fact that people don't have a plan it's the fact that people can't follow it because they have emotions um so if you care about what people think you will look or you will want to look good and only post winning trades to these people and that's the whole thing in itself right if you're attaching your self-worth to the trades that you uh post to other people you're only going to want these winning trades and if you haven't had a winning trade in a while you're going to start to get really really emotional about that and you'll want to force trades so you know if you're caring about what other people think as well and you're posting these trades you're getting then getting that feedback from these traders thinking oh i'm an, I'm an amazing trader i'm really really good at this um when it in in actu actuality I don't know. Um, in reality, you're going onto Trading View and just literally putting any kind of trade on your chart. Like, I could literally just go onto my chart right now and go. Oh, yeah, so this was the trade. This was the trade. So, anyway, um, and just go, okay, I entered a trade here. My stop was here. And my take profit was here. And then just post that in the chat. Right? Oh, I woke up this morning and I hit take profits. Oh, yay. Post it in the chart. Everyone says I'm an, an, ama I'm an amazing trader. When in actual, actuality, I haven't even taken this trade and I just made it. Right? That literally could be it. That could literally just be all your trades. And you just do it because you want other people to say that you're amazing. Um, next one is you care about winning and losing. Obviously, this is a tough one. If you're competitive in any kind of way, this will be hard. Um, so you'll fear when you get into trades that you're going to lose. Um, you're going to basically be overwhelmed with emotion and forget about everything in your trading plan. Um, you will also uh, kind of, you, you'll be hard on yourself because people that are competitive tend to be more hard on themselves than people that are not and you'll want to be winning you will attach your self-worth to those winning traits 
And it's not really about the, the money for you. It's more about being seen as a loser in your own reflection. It's more about, you know, am I a loser or am I actually good at this? Am I, um, am I competitive at this? Can I beat other people when it comes down to trading? Um, it's, yeah, it's more about the sports competitive nature of, of trading than it is about making money and work and stuff. Um, and the last bit is if you care about how much money you're going to make this month, you will place significance on the amount that you're up or down trading on a trade by trade basis. So what this means is um, whenever you are watching that trade, if it's going up in your favor, so your money is going up, you're going to feel really, really good and happy. And when it's going down, you're going to feel like it's the end of the world and everything's going wrong. And you could literally be like, I don't know, let's say you've got a, an account of a thousand pounds. You could be a hundred pounds up and still feel the world is ending if it drops down to 90 pounds in profit. You're, you're like, it's, it's it's literally, if it if it continues to go up, you feel amazing. If it goes down a little bit, it's the end of the world and everything's going to collapse and, you know, your account's going to blow up. So that is a big one because a lot of people are kind of having this issue because obviously a lot of people are paycheck to paycheck. A lot of people struggle with money and they want to make money. That's the reason why a lot of people trade. And if you're not making money, if you're losing money, you're going to feel like, you know, you're a failure, everything's going wrong, um, and all the rest. Of it. So, at the, at the end of the day, it is a very, very, very simple, uh, but hard to do thing of stop caring. Stop caring and you will make money. 